at Sports Focus, and I have some exciting highlights to show you this week, including a Thursday night thriller between the undefeated Sequoia Ravens and the Los Altos Eagles. We got the Padres homecoming game against Midi, St. Francis fog game against SI, the showdown in the city between the Bellman Bells and the Archbishop Reardon Crusaders, and we'll wrap up the highlight segment with the GSF Game of the Week, Sacred Heart Cathedral and Valley Christian. We got some really, really good games this past weekend. And of course, we will also have the Top Dog Awards, the GSF Weekly Top Dog Awards. We're gonna have the last GSF Top Dog feature, and we're gonna have Luke Holmes of Sequoia to uh, join us later on. Uh, he's gonna be talking about his team, their game against Los Altos, and his future um and we're gonna wrap it up with the gsf week seven predictions with coach andrew all of that coming up it's been a minute since i've been at valley christian's football field but that video scoreboard should be on the bucket list of any top ranked high school team in the country i have the gsf week six game of the week highlights fighting irish versus the Warriors. But before we move on, I want to remind our viewers about our upcoming GSF Senior All-Star Football Game happening in December. Coaches, athletic directors, parents or guardian, and even teachers can nominate their athlete now at GetSportsFocus.com. Go to the website, front page, and click on the link. Here we go. Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners. Leaders in growth equity investing. Ike's Love and Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every single time. Weightsandbars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. And by South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. In case you didn't know, we do a GSF All-Star Draft at the end of the season as well. And we include other things like Who's got the best halftime entertainment in the Bay Area? And Valley Christian is one of them. Check out Cathedral, got the ball first. The most electrifying kick returner in the WCAL is Kendrick Sanders. I've been saying that for the last three seasons, but Valley Christian only gave him 25 yards on the return. Pushed out of bounds by sophomore Ethan Flynn. Sanders carried the ball four times in the opening drive. Fighting Irish, they ran the ball nine times total and gave the ball to three-star running back, linebacker, Jerry Mixon Jr. for the first down on fourth and two. Two plays later, the future duck took it in. Sacred Heart Cathedral got the early lead, seven to nothing. Valley Christian's first possession started with 4.53 left in the first. They went three and out. Fighting Irish showed some physicality. ASU commit R.L. Miller almost got the sack. Marcus Canini almost got the interception. Here's our first look at Fighting Irish quarterback Aiden McGrath. He's a junior with an arm and just listen to how these guys are hitting. Raiders defense did their job. Brandon Henderson. Remy Hernandez and Levante Metcalf with the stop on Miller. Seven to nothing, VC down after one quarter. Second quarter, here comes the Warriors. Clinton Eakey with a nice run. It'll take more than a hit to take down a 5'10", 205 pound beast. 74 yards to the house. Mixigan actually caught up, forced a fumble and recovered. But the Zebras said he crossed the line for the score already. That definitely woke up the crowd. 7-0. We're all tied up. First play from scrimmage for the Fighting Irish. Kendrick Sanders said, I am the electrifying one. Watch me do my thing. And he was right. This guy is lightning. I'm telling you. He's a three-star athlete, and it would be a smart thing to offer this man up. 14-7. Sir Hart Cathedral regains the lead with a 67-yard run by Sanders. And shout out to the line for blocking all the way through. Warriors looking to answer. Freshman QB Matthew Botello to his big three-star tight end, Tyler Berlin. Big game to keep the chains moving. 
with the Fighting Irish defense turned it up a notch. 24-7 sports rated him as a three-star linebacker. I'm talking about Jerry Mixon Jr. Back-to-back -back tackles behind the line. Oregon's lucky to have his commitment for sure just before the half. SH tried moving the ball again, hoping to get one in. McGrath to Miller. They connected a few times and they were effective. 38-yard hookup. Valley Christian sophomore Marcel Leggett. He was a top dog. He got some valuable experience guarding someone like R.L. Miller. But the Valley Christian defense stepped it up. Remy Hernandez with the stop. Closing seconds of the half. Iki. This kid is all heart and hustle. With the Fighting Irish defense. Kept it tight and closed it out at the half with the lead 14-7. Third quarter, Sega Heart Cathedral defense with a fourth and short stop. Jabari Ryan made that tackle and then went to work right away. McGrath to Mixon. Next play, McGrath to Miller. And this was a sweet pass right here. Aiden McGrath with his fourth Touchdown pass of the season to R.L. Miller. That extended the lead 21 to seven. Valley <laughs> Christian answered right back. Iki with another long run. Touchdown Warriors, his second one. That closed the gap 21 to 14. They're hanging in there. And the Warriors got the ball right back right away on their next defensive series. Marcel Leggett is a special player for Valley. He's a student of the game, and this was a great play. Forced the fumble, and the Warriors got it. Great job, Isaac Santiago, for tracking that loose ball. Valley tried to capitalize on the turnover, but the Irish defense made it difficult. Nice stop by Jay Murphy. Third and long, and the scouting report says QB's gonna try to hit tight end. And that's exactly what happened. R.L. Miller read that perfect and came up with a pick and took it 83 yards going the other way. But a penalty brought it back. So no pick six for Mr. Miller. Valley Christian's defense retaliated with a turnover of their own. And this was a great play by Metcalf. Stripped the ball and got the ball. Valley Christian took over right around the 23 yard line and will go to the fourth quarter. It took the Warriors five plays to get it in. Kai Hamilton with a nice catch to keep the drive going. And they gave it to Icky for the score. His third of the night, 21 to 20. And it stayed that way because Botello, the holder, saw Mixon close it in fast on the PAT. SH stayed in the lead with plenty of time left in the fourth. At this point, I remember this was the GSF game of the week and I need a GSF MVP. This one sealed it. Aiden McGrath to Jerry Mixon Jr. That mixtape's gonna happen. This is just next level stuff right here. A 60 yard bomb and just like that, Fighting Irish distanced themselves 29 to 20. They converted on a two point try with 10.51 left. Mixon locked himself in as the GSF Game of the Week MVP with that one, five carries, 34 yards, a rushing touchdown, two grabs, 74 yards, one was a TD, that one, and defensively, he had nine total tackles and two TFLs. Irish defense forced another three and out. Jordan Solofa Fatu with a tackle for a loss, and this one sealed it for the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish. Aiden McGrath with his third TD pass of the night. He was 12 for 18, 243 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. He earned the co-MVP award with Mixon. And the playmaker went to this young man right here. ASU bound R.L. Miller with seven grabs for 152 yards and two touchdowns. Defensively, he had seven total tackles and an interception. Big win for the Sacred Heart Cathedral Fighting Irish. They will be taking on the St. Francis Lancers next in Mountain View. And yes, we will be there.
Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing, Ike's Love and Sandwiches, championship level sandwiches every single time, weightsandbars.com, build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts, and by South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. I'm from San Jose, so we don't get to see you guys a lot. Kendrick Sanders, yep. get over here. Kendi, Kendi, uh, Kendi. He, he's the lightning. Hey, talk about your touchdown, man. Man. <laughs> hey, they just can't handle me, that bro. <laughs> hey, that's all. That's, bro. that's all. Bad. That's all, bro. They can't handle you. They're turning the lights off, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Tell me what, what's special about this team, man. Oh, the heart and grit, like. Like do. straight dogs on the field. Dogs. All yeah. day. I love it. I love it. All day. <laughs> now, I need. I need number four. Where's Miller at? Man, you 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 almost got it. Uh, just tell tell me about playing this team, and uh, just coming down here and and playing with your brother. I knew it was going to beat them. We had a good whole week of practice. We all executed day. every day. All we just day. turned up at practice, have fun, and, and this is the results that show. We just whooped them. Yes. Right. <laughs> great job. Anything you want to add about playing with your teammates? I mean, you, you got you got. I mean, you got stars on this team, man. Yeah, I love my brothers. We're going on another state run, baby. Let's go. All day. All day. All day. Y'all think I'm playing? I ain't playing. Aiden. Aiden. This game was tough. I couldn't decide who to give the MVP to, so there's gonna be two, and you're gonna be the one. Let's go. You, you said you wanted an egg sandwich. I'm gonna hook you up with two, but tell me about this game. I mean, like the week of practice was just so good. You know, we had to win. We had to win. Um, That's my quarterback. They were, you know, executed. They played a defense that complemented our offense well. You know, let's do it. I don't know. Let's go. Let's talk about having having some stars on your team and and what is that like? I mean, you're a junior, man. You yeah. still got one more year. Growing up, like playing with him, playing with six, playing with five, playing with two, playing with three, playing with everyone. You know, they're all so good. They just catch the ball. They get the ball when I throw it to them. You know, I gotta give it to my lineman. 75, 61, 77, 54. The freshman Brody has! And and finally, let's get Nixon up here. Hey man, I I promised a mixtape, so thank you for uh, coming through. Tell me about this game, tell me about the season. I mean, you look happy, man. Yeah, um, just like you said, we came to practice prepared all week. We knew it was gonna beat them. We had to show up for the crowd. I mean, all real, we had to we had to go to throw the crowd and win. <laughs> so we did that at the end. Yeah, I love my brothers. We we coming to win. It's right. on his heart. And 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 your coaching staff. I was watching them on the sideline. I mean, they seem to really be connected to you guys. Talk about your your coaching staff. Um, first off, they know what they're doing. They put us in the best position to win every week. And then I came to Coach Fee. Since they bid on uh, the quick to our real, I told them to quick and go. And then that happened, that, that caused my touchdown down there. So, WCAL, is a, WCAL looks strong this year. Uh, what are you hoping to accomplish at the end of the season? Um, we're coming to win, WCAL. we never done that before. So this is going to be our first year winning, for sure. All right, guys. Great job. Yeah.